hey, there was a professor at university and it was exam time. And he looked out at the class and said, ladies and gentlemen, I got an assignment for you here today. It's going to take several hours to do and you got to have three components. Three pieces have to be in this assignment. Have you got it? Here it comes. Religion, sex, and mystery. You got to have those three things. Build the story around it. Looked at his clock and said, class, begin. He hadn't even sat down, and a young girl jumped up, ran up, handed her paper in, and left the room. Of course, he was astounded. He picked it up and said, how can this be? I'm pregnant. My God, who did it? Hey, now I got more. <laughs> Are you still with me? We're going to get serious now. Anyway, firstly, all of the people who are in the military, thank you so much for watching our show. Many of you do, and we get all kinds of emails. And here's one. I'm an American soldier stationed at Fort Riley, Kansas. I love watching your channel. We have so many others. A lot of people aren't able to tell us where they are stationed, and, and I appreciate it so much. And give us input. Give us good. Give us bad. Give us uh, constructive criticism, and we'll talk about it. And we'd love that very much. And again, thank you. In Canada, there's a company called Mountain Equipment Co-op, and it's a, a Canadian outdoor uh, joint. You know, it sells uh, clothing and all kinds of neat stuff. And they've had commercials running with three, maybe four people dressed up going hiking, and the people have all been white. And there's been this, you know, I want to say backlash, but I actually think it was one, maybe two letters. We're a complaint-driven society, right? And someone wrote in and said, how dare you? You're promoting white people. So the president of it, much to my disappointment, apologized. Don't apologize. It's a sign of weakness. But he apologized. And so now he, I'm sure he's going to go like everyone else. Every time you watch television, you turn on TV. I mean, it's disgusting. You don't ever see white and on white anymore. There's too much white in the world, a lot of these people think, I guess. Why is that? Why does color matter to these people? I don't get it. I mean, the mixed marriage thing, the mixed dating thing is just constant on television. And now you got a guy that's going to do it with, uh, with his equipment company, his old door company. And when, in fact, most of his customers, if not all, are in fact white. Again, what does it matter? And I don't believe that he doesn't sometimes put somebody else in that ain't white, but yet I walk into Canada Post, for instance, there's three pictures of, of three different people and it's not one white person. We see that all the time and the majority in Canada remains white at the moment at least. I think there's like 80% of the country is white. What is the problem with everybody? I don't know, I'm colorblind and they should be too. President Trump. He's saying, guys, give us more money so we can spend it to advertise and win the by-elections. We can't let the radical Democrats win. And he's matching $3 million worth of contributions. I mean, here's a guy that puts his money where his mouth is, and, and he's trying hard, and you got to kind of like it. I mean, he's a man with a bark on, right? And you got to be a man with a bark on to survive. I mean, you have to have, um, I don't know, walk through the bear patch and see where the buzzers fly. And, and he's that kind of guy, so we should be lucky. Okay, I got more stuff for you lefties. They're all about one's right to an opinion, as long as it's their opinion, as long as you share the opinion that in fact they have. And I've spoken of this before, and we see it all of the time. How do we fix it? Again, as I've also said often, I used to think that you could fix them. Come on in and let me counsel you and we'll have a hug and have a little love fest. And I don't think it's possible, maybe for some. I think we just got to drive over top of them and kind of do our own thing because they're wrong and we're right. And, and the world needs freedom and, and that's us. That's the right. A lot of you left guys that watch this show, you write your little nasty notes hoping to scare me away and so on. You do that with everyone that's on the right, and it ain't going to work because I'm convinced that we are right. We want freedom. Freedom is a good thing. We also want some control. You want to have some government around. I mean, that's okay. It's kind of like playing football. You got to have a referee. We know that, and we look after people. We look after our own. And the left, all you do is take from us all of the time. And I don't like you guys much anymore. I just wanted to share that with you. Hey, lastly today, <laughs> this is profound. If you want your family tree traced without costing you any money at all, run for public office. Hey, come on back tomorrow. See ya.